easily publish responsive HTML5 from your FrameMaker content. To follow along with this exercise, locate this set of files found in your FrameMaker installation directory. Make sure you use the folder labeled User Guide Arabic English Hebrew, as the other folder is an older set of files with significantly different formatting. First, some best practices. When working with books, ensure that you can open all the files in a book without errors and dialogues related to missing resources. Remedy anything causing these errors, as they can potentially halt your publishing process. Also, make sure you can perform an update book without any book error logs. Next, when your files are in good shape, open the Publish pod located under the File menu. I've already opened that pod, and now we'll go over the options available there. Set the scope of what you'd like to process by choosing the source. I'll choose my book. For now, I'll accept the default settings file, default.sts. I'll also confirm my output folder for the HTML5 files. With Responsive HTML5 selected, I can either select the Generate button or double-click the output that I want. I'll wait a moment for processing. The file processes pretty quickly and gives me a chance to view the output when I'm finished. A responsive layout typically has three sizes. There's the normal desktop view, which looks like a website with regular navigation options. The tablet view, where the navigation is roughly where I'd be holding the device with my hands and my thumbs. And mobile, where the navigation gets out of the way when it's not in use. Basically, each acts a little differently to better accommodate the needs of different device users. You may note that the formatting of this FrameMaker document coincides with the design of the default web output nicely. If you're interested in customizing the format and layout of the output, make sure to see the Customizing HTML5 Output with FrameMaker video, where I'll show you how to refine the mappings and customize the layout applied to the content.